Hi Libra, welcome to my channel and welcome back to, of course, Uno Momento. Hang on a second, just a second, Libra. I gotta go get Instagram. Let's go get Instagram. Be right back. All right, let's see. Check out the email, check in the go live. There we go. Hi, Instagram. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Libra. Tis I, the only archer with Archer Astrology. And welcome back to Archer Explains It All. I'm gonna help you out today, Libra. How are you? Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate you. If you could sit, sit, sit down, Winston. Winston's temperamental sometimes, but we deal with them. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here, Libra. Um, if you could return the love for me, please, and love the like down here, share the channel and the video, help get us out into the algorithm so the familiar can grow, and we can just kind of heal everybody. It's a thing we do here. It's a genre, and uh, let's make it crowded. That don't count. I haven't even started yet. Libra. Libra's like, I already know what's going on. That's the Four of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Wands, whoa, and the Six of Cups. Libra. Are you already awoke to a deep soulmate twin flame connection? This isn't something that goes deep. We're going to find out. But meanwhile, back at your intro, thank you for being here, returning the love for me, loving the like, share the channel and the video, etc., and so on and so forth. I appreciate you. Also, subscribe, set the bell to all notifications. I do go live every Tuesday nights for a pick a card reading, including tonight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. And I also go live Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. for an all signs from Aries to Pisces, of which this week is the awesome Mercury Direct collab with me and Chloe from Sagittarius Soul Tarot. We're going to hang out, read some cards for you, and announce the winners of the contest. If you haven't entered already, you still got some time left to win and enter and all that good stuff. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and Sagittarius Soul Tarot. And then down in the comments section on my most recent all signs, hashtag Archer Astrology, hashtag your sign, their sign, the kind of car you drive. I don't care. Hashtag Archer Stop It. I don't care. And you're entered. This coming Thursday before Chloe and I start reading for everybody, we will select four names who will win these prizes hanging out over here. And at the beginning of that all signs, I explained everything too. So check it out, hang out, and be a part of it. I totally appreciate you for it. While you're here, feel free to page the swords all over the channel as much as you like. I got the awesome healing music base covers for when you need a little break from the tarot and, you know, solving the world's problems. You can go and take like a two, three minute break with the greats like Caitlin Patty, John Lennon, the Beatles. There are three new ones coming. Hey, Carla. Thanks for coming. How you doing? What's up? All right. So and um, all your lives and the videos since I've been having some time to do lives, I've been enjoying it are all neatly prioritized and organized for your viewing enjoyment. Check out the future channels for more goodness. OK. So, Libra, since the cards just popped all over the table in the beginning, we are going to check out what's going on for you and the one on your mind for the middle of April-ish as we make it through Mercury retrograde in a very quiet week before the sun enters into Taurus and everything begins, okay? So this week is just kind of cruise control. And while everybody else is having a little bit of nerves about doing anything and stop, don't sign contracts, don't say hi to anybody, just don't do anything, we are going to diamond hands that energy and rocket ship it right to the sun or the moon. There's a lot of fire in the sky to do so to ignite that rocket with the sun in Aries and the moon in Leo. All right. So let's check it out and see what's going on for you and the one on your mind. We are going to do nine cards on the table. Tenth card outcome at the bottom and the Beatles are back. All right. When I saw Disney and the Beatles were releasing something that looks like a blank cover of Let It Be, I'm like, I'm going to have to buy the Let It Be movie again. Great. Thanks, Paul. Right. So I said, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Nice. I said, fine, we'll do it. We'll probably do it. Hi, Cappy. What up? How you doing, girl? So let's find out what's going on. And then, of course, the Six of Wands. Did I call it right? Are they re-releasing the Let It Be movie? Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. I have, like, a collector's copy of it on Betamax, and I don't even have a Betamax player. Anyways, I bet I have the I, whatever. This isn't about me. This is about you, okay, with the Six of Wands. The Caitlin Petty Victory showing up with crossing the river on a boat. And making it through everything for what you're wanting with the page of cups you got love coming and we haven't even started yet but anyways we're going to take a look at that and then my deck the grand theft auto deck will handle the boatload of speaking of boatloads the boatload of clarifiers and i will learn room and numerals because that's actually the seven wands that's protecting your six of wands victory okay so you got me working on this and when i sat down to meditate on your energies i pulled two energies and i was like what do we have for libra I heard two people like me, me. I'm like, oh my goodness. So we're going to find out what that's all about because I go OG Snoop Dogg nosy on this one. All right. So let's see who's calling dibs on y'all. All right. 
We are going to do it. And of course, all the messages are for you and the one on your mind's highest and greatest good, of course. So let's go for it. For Libra. What do we have for Libra? I still hear it. Me. No me. It's like that scene in Dallas. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Libra. And whoever else is hanging around. All right, two shuffles. You ready, Libra? Here we go. All right. No wonder, no wonder I had to pick up the guitar and Archer explained it all. It's their TV set. So nice watching TV or, or like grew up watching Clarissa Explains It All. It was a good show. All right, let's go. Two shuffles, Libra. You ready? Let's do it. One and two. Let's love this. Oh, hold it right there. Deck for the lovable Libra. Somebody's nervous to talk to you, Libra. Let's find out. Literally, the outcome is options. The Seven of Cups. George Harrison counting up all the garden gnomes that he kept out in the garden. Like he had that on the on the record cover on one of his albums, right? So, like I was mentioning, you are literally like what I typed in as the title when I sat down here and meditated on your energies about you having options. With the eight, five, and three is eight. Yep, I'm still working my Roman numerals. With the eight of swords that you're gonna have to talk through and work out on this one. But with the strength card, you're gonna have the power to do it because you know the one that you seek. Leo energy. Hi, Leo. Looking very good on the Beatles for Sale album cover with the Seven of Pentacles. Protecting your choice and guarding out your options with the Eight of Cups. Walking away from the multiples because you're a Libra. You don't do that in the outcome. You know who you want, what you want, and where to go for. Somebody's going to have to be let down rather gently, okay, Libra? Because you got two people totally liking you right now, okay? So let's find out what gets you to that Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy, where you level up. Or your Libra Scorpio cusp. All right, your present energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles. No wonder multiple people are checking you out. Nine of Pentacles, Paul looking good, standing tall and proud, enjoying his solo career and the Pentacles that are coming in. I, I mean, I've intuitively, I might have checked out your bank account, Sir Paul, but it's okay, grand dude. It's cool. So you've actually got yourself in order. Maybe like you got your taxes filed on time and the money's all in check in place. And at the moment in your current energy, you're feeling pretty all right. Okay. So you're staying kind of grounded, staying stable and looking good on this one here. And maybe even with the Nine of Pentacles, that's not always so much about you got the bank, you got the bag. Maybe like you're getting into Reiki or healing or going into a whole nother perspective because like conventional therapy never really worked for you, right? Sit there for an hour, pay your 300 bucks, and like you walk away with more questions than answers, you know, Virgo energy. And you want to go deeper into it, okay? What's the immediate influence on you? The Page of Cups is back. George and Danny. Something that's with the love for kids. Kids could be a factor in here. And that connection even that goes a little deeper, a little soulmate -y, cancer energy. Because you notice how Danny looks so much like George and even sings a lot like him too. If you hear some of Danny's versions of George's songs, it's like, whoa, it's wild. So this is something here that the one on your mind, the dominant one, is that one that like you feel like you know them, you've connected to them for a while and you're there with it. You might not even realize that with the, as good as you're looking and the energy you're giving off, even if you're in your like worst moments or worst of times, like you still know how to enter a room tall and proud. Okay. So no wonder you've got at least two eyes on you, possibly more. Oh my goodness, Libra. <laughs> but I know you only got eyes for one with that nine of pentacles. You just want your ace of pentacles. Okay. So let's see what your goal or destiny is. What's the plan? The four of wands. Good night, Vienna. Ringo shows up with a with an alien. Something totally different. All right, going right to Mars. The dominant energies of Mars will Mercury's in retrograde, but getting ready to end. And we've got, with him in the spaceship, Ringo in the spaceship showing up, right? That's that deep twin flame soulmate connection out in the stars. That This is the birth of something new for you and the one on your mind. Because we have right above your constellation, above Libra, between Libra and the Little Dipper, there's a new star. There is a Nova getting born right around the 20th or the 21st. Like imagine the universe, a, pa a parent pacing in the waiting room, like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that you'll notice it. it's very similar to the Devil's Horn Comet that came through during the eclipse, that when it gives birth, you'll have that blue-greenish glow, and there's actually going to be a new star. So there's something here that's getting a new connection on the Twin Flame and the Awakening, and the Full Moon in Scorpio will play a dominant role too on this as we get later on in the month. I think that's what, around the 28th or something? I don't know. I don't do calendars well. I just roll with the energy. All right, but you are manifesting your other destiny is actually to have union in this lifetime. So even with a twin flame journey or a soulmate journey that you've seen each other multiple points, it's like right there. Okay, that this is the one that you have the union. Okay, what's going on on their side of the fence? Because we got multiples happening here. This is going to get interesting. Queen of Pentacles. 
So the one in your mind, they might have left you hanging or out in the cold, but they're grounded. They're stable, willing to take leaps of faith and keeping their points in control on this one here. Maybe they had to like grow up at a young age or something like they were the one that had to take care of the family. All right. So they stay grounded and stable, which might even get to a point where you're like, well, then why did we go through what we went through? Why did this happen? Well, that's what we're going to find out. That's what this guy's for. But yeah, at the moment, they're actually they're not in a bad place or a bad energy. They're like focusing on their pentacles, keeping themselves grounded and stable and in order on this one here. So we definitely want to know why they're quiet. What's their immediate influence? The world card. They are very busy and they see a lot of everything with you on this one here. It's that it's that energy of, of having everything in point, a lot of things coming at them. Maybe like like if you guys work together, I'm pulling like a coworker, it's like a boss energy on this one here, where they've got a lot of stuff going on. Or maybe they're into like fashion or design, because I had to draw the Sharpie swimmer on the world's card here. But all four of the boys are on the card here, so that's everything coming together. Maybe there's actually multiple kids or something involved on this as well. Or it's like the Brady Bunch, two families coming together, and you've got to factor in like your kids, their kids, every, everywhere a kid kid, okay? There's multiple energies coming in this. Or, oh my goodness, your person might know about the other person, and there's a little bit of a competition going on the other side. Oh my gosh, we got to find out more about this. Oh my word. Okay, so let's take your three cards, add their two cards to it, See what the outcome is on this. It's the Eight of Wands. Ringo. <laughs> Ringo on the beach. And you're the star with the lizard down at the bottom too. That, that, that energy is kind of sneaking in with the runways cleared. That you are the focal point on this one here. With that Eight of Wands, it's the ability to communicate and follow a divine path. It's kind of like looking at the Wheel of Fortune. But somebody's going to Sagittarius like word vomit out on you. Okay. Once that higher level of knowledge comes in, it's going to clear the energetical ways for you to go through and liven everything up just a little bit more on this one here. Okay. Now, what is the immediate energy going forward on this potential outcome? It's the Six of Cups. George Harrison. And making it through the wall. See how if you're George, you're on this side. And then all that other energy is on the outside there that you guys are actually have that ability to cut out all those other options and be like, no. I choose my person, a person chooses me, we're going to make it through the fight that we had, and that little bit of communication issues where they maybe put their foot down their throat just a little bit too much. And with that Six of Cups, it's connecting to that connection again on the Four of Wands to go forward. That takes us towards the environmental factors, which is the Two of Pentacles, making that decision and the choice. Paul's the focus on the Pentacle cards in this deck, along with his little Rosetta Gold. The first guitar he had that was a right-handed six string that he restrung with a piano string to make a one string bass, right? All right, chicken in the corn so the corn can grow. But John and Stuart are in the background. Stu was the original bass player, but an artist. He really didn't want to play the bass. So maybe the outcome on this allows you guys to filter out the stuff you really don't want to have to deal with, so to speak, like the multiple energies and being like, no, I'm sorry, we're committed. This, this other stuff just isn't going to work for me. There's, there's a just communication between the two of you guys that it stays fair and balanced because once... The Beatles knew that Stuart was leaving the band. Paul took over the bass. It just followed a, d a divine timing. It's finding that balance to get over the, I'm not sure, Archer, I don't know, that you guys know and find the communication to go forward, okay? Which takes us towards the inner emotions on that Seven of Cups. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. Oh my, I cannot with you, Libra. Look at that passion going forward. Ringo. Ringo's drumstick. Anyhow, <laughs> that is not safe for YouTube in any way. This ignites a passion to go forward and join this connection. Scorpio and Aries energy, which is one of the most common twin flame connections I've noticed in observations and research in this lifetime, that this actually allows you to rise like a phoenix out of the ashes together and get all the chakras imposed. And with that new star being born later this month on the round the 21st, that is that point that ignites it because it's right above your constellation, Libra. So it's right above your crown chakra. And it's in the Corona Borealis, not the Aurora Borealis. We're not watching Bones. But the Corona Borealis, which is the crown of basically Hercules. Okay? So you're Hercules in this outcome to get exactly what you want. You've got some strong cancer energy. Aries big time. Sagittarius is here along with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio definitely. And but the world card comes out as the, like the anchor point in the center of the reading that it could be it could be any sign all the energies So you're dealing with the one on your mind is that powerful one that you see that can go the distance queen of Pentacles They've got their act together with the world card. They're embracing every energy that they've got Okay, you of them could be born as well on the fourth I'm also seeing the eighth and the 21st the sixth and the 26th comes out. So let's go for it Let's see what we got also the 12th Neat. All right. Give me everything you've got. Please. And thank you on the nine of Pentacles 
Page of Cups to the Four of Wands. The Queen of Swords. Did they send you a message or you sent them one? One of those long texts? Yeah, full card to the Ten of Wands. Look how burnt out you feel from everything that happened. With this Five of Cups, it's that overwhelming energy on the Queen of Swords. Maybe like you, you even, you've always had to make choices. Even as like I'm seeing as like even maybe a child. Your parents went through a separation type of event and your dad and your mom were like, well, you're going to stay with me, right? You're going to live with me. Just pick someone. Just pick someone. And you're like, how can I pick someone? I'm a kid, right? Five of Cups. Very overwhelming. Maybe you were around five years old at the time. But that is that ability where you had to manifest and you it's it's all stuck with you. And you've all through your life, you've had to make the choices, the options and never felt like you were the one that was focused on. You were always the one that had to make the decisions for everybody. Seven of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Staying up in your feels, having to always be the, the sensible one. Maybe a child as an adult at a young age, you know, where you had to grow up really fast or you're an old soul. That you are always the one bringing the balance in to find everybody else's happiness with that Ten of Cups. But where was yours? It kept eluding you in this one here. All right. Fool card, though, shows this new energy when they came in before everything kind of went down between the two of you guys. That you guys maybe even met in like the most unusual kind of a way where not even maybe online. Like you got transferred to a new job or you changed places and then all of a sudden they showed up or they were your boss. Oh, my word. Uh oh. OK, we got a little bit of the work energy coming in with that Ten of Cups. So it was that one ability like, nah, I can't see him. And I can't see him in any other way. We just kind of we, we share business ideas. We're just kind of like partners. Hi, Alexa. What up? Hi, John Wayne. Whoa, the boss is here. What up, John Wayne? Like it. Love your movies. Definitely. All right. Fool card, a newbie. That was a total joke, John. I was just, I, I, I mean, no bad intentions. I actually do like John Wayne movies. Okay, cool. High storm of love and light with the fool card here. You guys maybe met not even as a boss energy. Maybe you guys were just on the same level where you shared an interest or a hobby, you know, like just one of those faded meetings on a day and you guys just got along. Okay. With that queen of swords, it's that ability to manifest and to talk. It's like when John met Paul, right? And both of them had dealt with everybody in their lives being like, oh, that's cute. You write songs. Even John's aunt Mimi was like, well, the guitar is cute, but you'll never make a living out of it. And he's like, <laughs> hold my pen. Right. So but um, so you guys met on this level. Where everybody else was like not around or not really focusing. And all of a sudden you guys kind of got it right. OK, that fool card ignited this new beginning even before you realized it. Maybe you've noticed feathers on your path, too, because I'm seeing that bird. All right. That comes out. So it was that ability that you've always had to felt like you were the outcast until they showed up but then maybe something changed as you guys went on okay give me a little bit on that give me a little bit on what might have happened let's see here we go thank you appreciate you guys ten of pentacles oh my gosh you are totally like digging them ten pentacles to the ten of cups you could be born on the 10th or the 20th shows up but that ten of pentacles was kind of like maybe it happened a little faster where all of a sudden it's like whoa we get each other and this ignites the start of a 10-year plan but when you do get into that, where you've got the work, the love life, it can become very overwhelming if you don't have time to sleep. I'm seeing a Libra that doesn't get a lot of sleep or they're always tired, right? And so maybe that was where a little bit of these points came in because this one that got it and it seemed like it was a lot to do with the Six of Cups. You just wanted to be treated as an equal, right? Where you had the Ten Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, boom. So let's see where that goes on their side here, okay? I'm also seeing the Seventh. You were then could be born on the Seventh or the Fifth. Um, also the 27th comes out. Could be a life path number five or seven too. Scorpio energy, heavy duty on this one. Or like I mentioned, a cusper. Along with strong Virgo too. And Aries. All right, so let's see what's on their side here because it was like it was like you knew what you wanted, you know. Maybe it even was like a hobby. Like you both got into like music or Reiki or art. This Queen of Swords here, that Gemini energy that shows up is that ability to manifest, to bring out um, your creativity from the stuff you've been through and manifest from your life experiences. And you guys were in similar life experiences with the Wheel of Fortune back on repeat. That shows how you guys came together in divine timing to play out an energetical role. I see the Wheel of Fortune as a treadmill, that it's always on, it's always spinning, and you can hop on it and, and do the cardio, follow the journey. But when you need that break to rest, you can hop off the sidebar, even if it stays running, because the wheel is always turning like a conveyor belt, like a treadmill. Sometimes you can, you can, sometimes you can face plant it like Taylor Swift in that one ad for Apple where she, which I, that's the ability to laugh at yourself and have a good time. So I see a lever that makes the best out of the best situations and the worst situations. All right. But it's something that just connected you guys, which maybe can even get overwhelming at times. All right. So let's see what's going on on their side. 
And a lever that's got a lucky rabbit's foot? Is that still a thing? Oh, wow. Okay. Like a little lucky rabbit's foot thing. So, so, apologies, apologies, rabbit. But or maybe, maybe it's fake. Let's go with that. Okay, cool. So let's see what's going on on their side of the fence. Very talkative. I like the energies, though. I like the energies, Libra. All right, and there's... Whoa. Eight of Wands came out as the first clarifier on their side. And I mentioned that, that you guys... It's very similar journeys. The inner emotions is from their side of the fence with the Five of Pentacles. Maybe you had to actually cut the connection out for a moment because they got a little bit overwhelming. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo energy. And so you had to kind of put the connection on hold Yellow and blue make green, seal it into a Ziploc, and take the time that was needed to go forward and heal on this. The moon card. Yeah, they miss you in this one. So give me a little more on this one here. The high priestess, they don't want to talk about it to, the, to you. The justice card on the chariot. Cancer energy. Could be an age difference between the two of you guys, or something that's allowing time to play out properly to close the distance. Cancer energy on this one here. And it's that ability to actually stand and fight for what you want and believe in. When you go back to the original Rider's Weight tarot, and even a little further back to the tarot de Marcel, when Rider Weight was just sketching these ideas on cocktail napkins and being like, whoa, check this out, it's a chariot. That's that Roman chariot that's ready to go into a battle to fight a great war and to have a molecular bonded shell that AK-47 will just tick right off. So you got somebody working on a leveling up, and they're doing it because of what you did. Because you made that choice of like, I'm not letting you do this to me. I really love you, but we need to we need to be equals here, okay? With that high priestess, they're not telling you that. They're I'm seeing with that high priestess, they're still sitting there like, well, Libra's done, Libra, that's fine. They don't let you see how it affects you. Even if you guys still are actually working together, you got to have those weird moments in the office where one passes by the other, like, you know what I mean, right? But it's that sort of a thing with high priestess. They don't want to say how they're feeling, but you are totally on their mind. Justice card. But that high priestess to the moon could be like a moon in Libra, possibly, or even a moon in Sagittarius or high priestess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kenny from South Park could be any sign. We're not talking about it. But that veil starts to lift. So get this. Whoa. Get this. OK, totally. So they had one person they talked to in total secret. OK, and, and like everything that they did. I can't believe I did it to Libra. Maybe I should buy Libra some flowers or this and that. And, and the other person's like the lover's choice. You need to get your act together, boy. You know? So it was that kind of thing to, to like a put up or shut up type of energy with the lovers to the page of wands where they wanted to talk to you. Maybe even something that's more of a publicly needed energy in this one here. But they always seem down, don't they? They always stay quiet. It, like you pass by them or see them online. And hi, Debbie. How you doing? But you see them online or something, right? That Oh, my goodness. Sweden. Storm of love and light. Thank you so much for being here. Greetings from the United States. Welcome. Oh, my word. That's awesome. But yeah, see this how they, like this one buddy, there's one person they totally trust. Justice energy, they talk all about you. Maybe they like, like it's somebody from the carpool type of a thing. Or they Uber and they just tell the Uber driver, right? And the Uber driver's like, why'd you do that to Libra, you know? But whatever it is, it's this one that manifested in in more of a public accent. So it's like they're always down. They're always bummed out. Now, if you check them out online, they're not trying to hide it. Or at work, they're really took down behind a computer screen. They're kind of like Eeyore. Right? Just kind of like, thanks for noticing me. And, and it's interesting with what I'm bringing up because that is something different. Because have you ever noticed how Winnie the Pooh is actually a description of like the five common personality disorders? Anyways, meanwhile, back at the ranch over here, that Lovers to the Justice card shows the choice they make is you. But then get this, okay? That other energy I see is coming in because you've got to possibly could be a Cancer, possibly could be a Gemini, or something that shows that break point between the two, okay? Yep, yep, yep. Three of Swords to the Seven of Swords to the Three of Pentacles. So, okay, that other one that you've been thinking about, the one that kind of might be the one that reaches out our engine. So if you, um, you asked about your person lately and you're like, oh, no, it's fine. It's because they're totally like, they're feeling you out because they've heard Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy, everything your person's done to you, right? And that Three of Swords, there's all that work to heal. They watch you see what you're doing to heal. That's why I love this Three of Swords. Because it shows the swords in the bathtub being cleaned up. You are powerhousing through. Staying tall and proud. Meanwhile, Seven of Swords to the Three of Pentacles. The other one in your mind could be a Capricorn. Is coming up with a plan. Aquarius energy. That they're going to try to reach out. Then they're still talking. And they're going to get caught on to the energies with the Wheel of Fortune. Of like, well, if you ain't going to come in right for Libra. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. 
inner whoa libra what are you doing to them oh my goodness maybe you've just done a little bit of work or leveling up or like you changed your hair or just started wearing some you got your spring clothes out or something from cleaning out your closet and they're all like well i can treat libra right and libra looks good doing well even on libra's worst day if they show up in their sweatpants they're looking good on casual friday even okay big strong work energy connecting into this one so you are going to wind up three and three you're going to be born in the third also seeing the eighth and the 19th show back up as well but this shows that you're going to be faced with possibly you know before july next three weeks next three months something like that three of swords to the three of pentacles could be a life path seven or 33 shows up and also july 7th comes out with the repeating sevens a lot of repeating numbers too the tens the sevens and the threes are here so with the nine of cups you're gonna have two pretty interesting offers but you know the one you want that's on your mind maybe it is the other one maybe it is them i'm not gonna i know but i'm not gonna tell okay high priestess that's for you all right so let's keep going forward because you're gonna get faced with two offers possibly a third one. Oh my word libra libra how do you get everybody wanting you like that oh my goodness you got to be in the public eye or something right like you're online or like like you ted talk or you or, you, or you're, you're the therapist, you know, something like a social worker or something. And, and like, whoa, reviews show up with the emperor, Aries energy that just popped with the eight of swords. Eight of swords shows up on repeat, two-way transmit and receive. You're going to have both these offers coming at you with the emperor because you're a boss and you're going to own the energies on this one here. It's that ability, like even, even when the one down your mind has stayed really quiet except for this one person that's actually not so nice it's kind of mean that they're gonna like like just jump in on the situation and i think you're gonna you're gonna be wise to that you're libra you are like the smartest sign in the zodiac okay nobody can pull anything up past you there ain't no wool getting over your eyes you know with that emperor card you're gonna stand up and make that deep soulmate connection and you're gonna see the player energy straight up showing up eight of cups eight of swords on repeat you're gonna look and go i'm not into that one i know we had our issues, but my person's showing up, coming back and correct to apologize for everything they went through. And we do get each other on the same connection. And I I see what you're doing. All right. Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords on the Four of Pentacles. They're hatching that plan, trying to architect it out for you. Page of Cups, Page of Wands to the Strength card. Hi, Leo. Nine of, nine of Swords. That's not the Nine of Swords. That's the Nine of Wands to the Tower. Scorpio Sagittarius energy shows up could be cusper energy on that as well but that strength card to the page of wands on a page of cups cancer Sagittarius and Leo come into this one that you are actually the producer the promoter of your show your destiny your life and you are going to have that strength card Leo energy Leo holding the lion and we actually do have Leo moon energy showing up that you will actually make that choice that is best suited for you in that one and use the seven to the eight of cups to cut out that not so nice energy all right you're, you know the direction you'll want to go with the choice for this with that tower. It's an energetical reset that you'll go for that. You're Libra. You're going to go for the fair and just connection that starts with that little hey text, the little bit that somebody comes in correct, bosses up for you, and then all of a sudden they start wanting to hear what's you. Think of the director listening to the actors and back and forth and, and manifesting their perspective on this and hearing each other out, not just being like, mm -hmm, yep, okay, whatever, I'm busy, but actually taking the time to focus on you focus on your wants, your needs, and to be the one there that helps you, helps you carry your bags to the door, doesn't make you do all the work, the one that'll actually drive for you, you know, guys, no offense, not calling y'all out, but we should drive the car, ladies don't have to always drive, sometimes a lady likes having the door opened up for them, right, and going forward with that tower for that new beginning, because you put them in their place, everybody else is going to show up, and you're going to be like, I'm cool, I'm waiting for this one to come in right, and they do, and in the end, you wind up helping each other and being there for each other, with that ace of wands okay boardroom and bedroom showing up right there with that passion that goes forward onto it not totally safe but with the ace of wands to the nine of wands that overcomes that protection energy and lets things go forward for a new beginning with the tower scorpio aries energy and this tower i love because it shows the tower and the statue of liberty actually coming out of the water not collapsing into the water a little bit of studying the hydrodynamic forces hi carla what's up it shows that it's rising to a new beginning, taking that leap of faith with the fool that used to be on the card originally to show that chance to overcome what you both went through in the past. The one in your mind is going to come in first and going to beat him to the punch, okay? All divine timing that plays out on it that allows you guys to rise up to a new level to overcome all the options, all the seven of cups, all the straight up player energies. 
and have that divine devotion that allows you guys to be heard, to be understood, and get on the same level to meet each other eye to eye. You know, it's taking the fire hose of emotions of, of the world together as, as, and overcoming it. My goodness. Wow. It's actually like, you know what here? It's that one text that even ignites the other one. Like the one you want to come in, the other one's going to go first. And, yet, and then the other one's going to be like, uh-uh, no, 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 no bueno. We're not doing that. You're not. It's going to be the one that ignites that other race of wants passions to get it in. And then that's like it winds up being that scene in Dallas. Oh, my word. Okay. <laughs> wow. Libra, how do you do this? Oh, my goodness. I wish I was a Libra. Wow. Not, well, not that I want all the attention. I just like the people coming in correct and getting to be gentlemanly. I, I love holding doors open for girls. It's awesome. I hold doors open for everybody sometimes. I've been late to the post office because I've stood there like a valet at the door. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Um, Libra, wow, you have got strong Virgo, Pisces energy, Sagittarius, Cancer is hanging out, Aries all over the place, as well as Gemini, definitely, Aquarius and Pisces, as well as Scorpio. Wow, but you had that world card anchoring the whole thing. Any sign will do, but it's the one on your mind, totally for you. Well, Claim this down in the comments because you have been through a long period of quietness. Maybe they haven't talked to you in three days, weeks, months, years. And, and at this point, somebody's getting them going like, oh, man, I'm going to lose Libra if I don't get my act together. Claim this down in the comments. All right. Appreciate you very much for being here. Leave a comment. Let me know how it resonates for you and how things are going. I totally appreciate you. I know it takes me a minute to get back to them, but I do read, like, love all of them and reply to them eventually. It takes me a minute, but I keep it rolling. I promise you. Knight of Pentacles. But try test and true. My arrow makes its way to you, okay? And remember, Libra darling, this will resonate to any and all placements of your chart because we're not just our sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, but all the parts of all our charts. Carla, oh my goodness. Thank you, darling. Carla, you're too generous. Whoa. Carla. Star card, Aquarius. You are doing some serious healing, and it's going to be rewarded for you faster than you thought on this. Thank you so much. You are so generous. You work hard for your money. So I got to treat you right. That card for you was meant to be right off the Millennial Tarot. Oh my goodness. I appreciate you. Guys, until next time. Oh, I'm, I love it. Um, thank you very much for being here, Libra. Thank you for letting me take the time out of your day, week, love, light, and energy to read for you. I truly appreciate it. And God, thank you so much for the messages today that we received for Libra. As always, we are truly grateful. Definitely. All right. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out the most recent All Signs because Thursday's coming up fast and there's four chances to win. And check out the post today because there's lots in store. I will be at the Downtown Tarot Company Wednesday evening, 6 to 8 p.m. for a little lesson from one of their awesome astrologers. Even I never stop learning. My goal is to learn as much as I can until the ticker stops. <laughs> I love learning. And um, pick a cards tonight. Just come and hang out with us. We'll have a good time. Dex pick you. And then Friday... Make sure you follow Caitlin Petty over on TikTok and Instagram. Take a little break from the energies. Take two and a half minutes. Watch her live stream live from Nashville. It's an awesome concert. I actually made it there over the weekend. And oh my goodness, heart chakra, just love it. I sing every song. I sing along to every song like a goober in the audience. It was so cool. But anyways, so until next time, it's a fun week here. All right. And I love you for being a part of it. Okay. Until next time, I'll see you then. All right. Namaste. Peace and love. Archer out. Yeah, Chariot. I love this. I love doing this live. I got to figure out how to do this more often. Love you guys. Bye. It's exit. Stage right. I can't do it this time because I got to end the